This is to the spray FM on African radio. Good ladies and gentlemen, you're all listening to Dudu Spray, your one and only Pan African Media House. You're welcome to our show, Since Anger. And today's topic for our show is Mood Swings Amongst Teenagers. But first, my name is Fina, and I would like to introduce you to the rest of the amazing things we have in. Hi, everyone. My name is Bewa Jenny. Hi, everyone. My name is Ali Ali. Hi, everyone. My name is Izzy. everyone. There we have, they have introduced themselves. First, their name is Bewa Ji, you had, and Izzy. So now, first, remember again, as I said, today's topic is mood swings um, in teenagers. What definition of mood swings? Mood swings refer to abrupt and intense fluctuations in a person's emotional state. It is rapid changes in mood. They can range from periods of extreme happiness to sudden sadness, irritability, or anger. Now, let's go to types of mood swings we'll be talked about by our host, one of our teenagers here, Bewaji. Swing. That cut my question is not a person is just neutral and doesn't really vary that much. The third one is premenstrual mood swing. This comes when a female, uh, a girl is actually passing through the stage of adolescence, which is that menstruating. This mood swing comes. The fourth one is stress related mood swing. Stress related mood swing can come in the form of anything because it's actually stress related. If you are stressed out, or stuff like that, this mood swing could come. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Bella. For- Amazing discussion on mood swings. Now we are off to the effects of mood swings. You know, mood swings can impact various aspects of a person's life, including relationships, work or school performances, and overall well being. They may lead to conflicts and difficulties in maintaining emotional stability. Causes of mood swings. These causes can be complex, multifactorial, including hormonal changes, neurotransmitter imbalances, stress, genetics, and environmental fac- factors. <coughs> now, all to Bewaji for the solution of managing mood swings. Thank you, Fina. Maybe there are different solutions. Managing mood swings, but yeah, a few. The first one is lifestyle changes. You can actually change your lifestyle, and that's the uh, number one step in managing mood swing. Whether you are a type of person who always get up temper or get depressed easily, you can also say, I know for this period of time, I won't get up temper. You try to manage your lifestyle and the way you move out your friends and your activities the second one is therapy if you are, uh, if you actually have a very terrible mood swing you can actually go for therapy because some therapists actually can actually give you some help in which you can use and um, curbing this mood swing the third one is medication some medicine actually help in curbing mood swing so you can actually take some medicine for it the fourth one is stress management you have to manage the way you stress your body whether you work on whether every day you actually work let me put it like on a uh, 12 hours work or you work 14 or 15 hours consider okay because of that because of stress how to just manage it to the eight hours nine hours the other hours will be used for you uh what like you keeping down your body and relaxation thank you Thank you, Bewaji, for that. Now, for the next, we are going to be discussed on the dangers of teenagers having mood swings. Like, teenagers are partially, so, they are partially susceptible to mood swings due to hormonal changes and the, cha- and the challenges of adolescence. Some potential dangers include impact on relationships, two, we have academic performance, three, we have risk-taking behaviors, and for the fourth one, mental health. <coughs> Now, what is impact? Now, for the first, what is impact? How does impact on relationships affect teenagers' mood swings? Mood swings can strain relationships with families and friends, leading to conflicts and misunderstandings. 
So we have academic performance. Several music may affect a teenager's ability to focus on schoolwork and perform academically. And for a third view that we said, how can mood swings affect our risk-taking behaviors? In extreme cases, mood swings can contribute to risky behaviors like substance abuse or self-harm. And for the last but not the least, we have the mental health. If not managed, that's your mental health. If it's not managed, mood swings may contribute to the development of mental health disorder like depression or anxiety. Now, we're up to things now. Another is things parents can do when teenagers have mood swings. Like when dealing with teenagers who are experiencing mood swings, parents can actually number one listen and empathize, be support be a supportive and understanding presence when they need to talk or experience or express their feelings. Two, we can they can actually maintain open communication, encourage your teenagers to share their thoughts and concerns with you, establish routines, you know consequent consistent schedules and routines can provide a sense of stability. And also, they should encourage healthy lifestyle choices like promote regular exercise, a balanced diet, and sufficient sleep. And for the fifth, we have to respect their privacy. You know, parents should actually respect their teenagers' privacy, like give them space when they need it and respect their boundaries. Now, up to easy for games that can make teenagers generate mood swings. I have to talk about a game that can cause mood swings. The name of the game is called Minimita. Minimita is a must player game. Like, not a game, like a game that you and your friend can just sit down on a spot on Wi Fi and connect, join the game. And now, the way that the game can cause mood, mood swing is that if, firstly, now you are playing with a player, like you're playing with your friends, and you win the person, you'll be very happy. That's number one. Second, is it that if the person will be and you lose, are you not very sad or are you not very angry? But when you are not playing, but when you are just playing on your own with nobody, money makes you very, money makes someone very sad. Example now for me, now I normally, I normally ask my sister to join me to play the game. If not, I'd be so lonely. So that's what I can say. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay, thank, thank you, Easy, you. for that. <clears throat> now, I've got Easy actually said, like all those games, there are some other few games that actually lead to new swings, like League of Legends. It, this is an highly competitive multiplayer online game area, like, and the abbreviation is MOBA, MOBA. And this game can actually cause new swings due to its fast paced gameplay and the importance of teamwork. Another can be Fortnite, the battle royale nature of Fortnite can actually lead to intense emotions. Players may feel exhilaration when they achieve victory, anxiety when they are the last one standing, or frustration when they are eliminated early. And turned a game called Among Us. This social education game can lead to intense emotions as players try to uncover the imposters among them. Accusation, betrayals, and the trail of deception can create mood swings, from suspicion and paranoia to relief and satisfaction. Now, <clears throat> for the last game we actually I can think of is counter strike global offensive this intense and strategic nature of this first person shooter can provoke mood swings players may experience tension and anxiety during clutch moments and elevation of frustration depending on the outcome of the round well thank you for but for the games thank you easy for your contribution and is there any questions among the teenagers before the story session comes wait 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 it um, among girls, I think that was the title. Like, is it that it's you and the computer that we playing, or you and other people? You and other players, that was like the point it was player games. Like, easy knows about this because you always play a game called Meaning Meters. These games they contribute three people. Even two people can play the game with a bit two, and also you can discuss it over the phone. Like, playing the game, there are many of them. Like, once I mentioned, there are two parts. Okay. Any other questions? No questions. Okay. Now up to the story version of the most things. Well, we have many teenagers who have actually talked about their stories. From all the things I can gather up, there are some teenagers who actually, you know, when you have schooling and when you actually go to school. When you actually meet people, 
most times this most thing actually leads to depression like a girl she met i don't know i don't remember her name clearly but she actually left for school one day when she went to school she actually met many of she made friends that was her first day in school after you know people just got to ss1 a new secondary school a new environment many things are still new to her so she didn't get most of the things so in this new school she noticed that there were bullies on like an old school there were no bullies because everyone was friendly you knew everyone because it was kind of a little a small size school but yeah in the new school there are many you know the high class people the low the average the rich many people and they are different because in this secondary school they actually wore their own way so much that she's often laughed at and that actually caused her depression which also led to her mood swings so when her parents tried to investigate what's wrong with her she didn't let them know because she felt that how would they understand like they were not like ah they won't get what she's saying because they only get because the last time she tried explaining it to them to them they told her that she was being a baby about it she was just acting too childish so they told her to let it go but this time so she decided to talk to her friends only her friends understand her well in this case eventually when the parents started seeing that it started affecting her academic performances since she was usually top of the classes and eventually now she came down to the bottom like she was second to the last before she usually be the best now she's second to the last about to eat rock bottom so then she her parents decided to pay more attention to her they listened to her complaints they talked to her the advisor they gave her the privacy she needed she also actually went to the school to check up on things and when they found out the girl couldn't take it so they decided to encourage her to finish her studies so after getting the you know usually the girl is actually feeling bitter sometimes she's sad she's angry and sometimes she just look herself in the moment and start crying seeing there's nothing she can do about it her parents are not even understanding what she meant eventually when she started getting better for her whenever they come to annoy her all she does is just to ignore them and walk away when she started saying that their impact on her isn't she isn't reacting to what they are doing anymore so they decided to ignore her and let go of the whole thing so eventually this is how, this is why now let us say the moral of the story is whenever for parents this also leads to parents especially whenever a child or a teenager suffers from swing they should try to give a listening ear because after they actually started advising her helping her in the whole situation she started getting the anger of it she decided to let go of everything and help herself she didn't let the bullying the abuse affect her anymore but when her parents didn't but the moment her parents didn't agree to her they didn't even pay attention to her you can see that during that period she actually kept feeling depression anxiety mood swings she was angry she even for her to smile was actually kind of hard so another part that's thing and also another part is most times parents should give concert to their kids they should try to pay attention to them they should try to learn things about them try to ask them more things about how their school life is going not to get more because some parents even don't even know much about their children if you ask them what your child favorite color they won't know what your child like to take they won't know there are not many things that parents don't know about their children but parents should actually try to give listening ears to their kids pay attention focus this is actually their kids they should just always use work as an example just say work 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 that they are working they are working and working who are they working for it's not for their kids so they have to pay attention to the children because what if all their work will go in vain what will they do they will actually blame themselves for this so do anyone have any question on the story i just told mm? Mm -hmm. no yes. okay now we are coming to the conclusion of the of today's show you know it's important for parents to be aware of the emotional impact these games have on the teenagers and to encourage LD gaming habits. Also, it's crucial for teenagers experiencing significant mood swings to retrieve support from parents, guidance, or mental health professionals to help them navigate this challenging phase of life. So, as for we teenagers, my advice is that we should try our best. Whenever our parents does not understand us, we should try going to the internet. Sometimes the internet is actually of help to us. We can find out about more stories of other teenagers who have gone through this kind of situation and their story can actually be a lesson to us which help us in impacting more to ourselves it can help us to also make things better for us we can learn from your situation and most times we may even find out that that situation is more worse than what you can think so now easy do you have a question answer that was seriously every time that internet helps to cure mood swings 
like me for example let us see yeah yeah down last week tuesday this tuesday that was passed me i was having a for no good reason i was just sad like even when you talk to me like this did i ever just want to beat them for no good reason but then i went to the internet i look at something so that still make me angry that what i search for not only the same thing that was anyway that we would go to kind of have the anger on what somebody the, else uh, so never let it and it sometimes then i just create more trouble well, that's also one of the best of mood swings. Mood swings can be anger, happiness, sadness, pain, especially when it comes to the female premenstrual pain or cycles. So, thank you for your contribution, Easy. So, Baraji, any question? I don't tell so that's I'm not, it's not really a question. I just that you know that those mood swings is not only when somebody is angry. There are sometimes in which the person, people expect the person to be sad. Well, that's whether somebody passed or stuff like that. People expect the person to be sad. But it does say that the person is happy. To be like, what's going on? Like, are you all right? So this mood swing can take form in any, can take place in any forms, and in any place, in any situation, in which the person finding himself. All right, all right thank, thank you, Bewaji. I am right about, about it. it. Not only sadness can actually be a cause of mood swing. There's actually happiness. Sometimes of excitement, most especially when you have won something in your school, like school project, when you become first, the happiness can actually lead to anxiety. Like in Nigeria, are they? But it's not good to be too excited because Nigeria face overjoyed the keep person. I hope people remember that word. So, any other thing? I think there's nothing else. I can see you are trying to smile, just smile it out. Anyway. <laughs> so, thank you for listening to our show today. And remember to stay tuned to our show, Things and Girls. And you can also search for us on www.doodlespray.com for more on our content or for other content you may want, like depression, many other story topics. And you can also link and send us your replies, like, comment, and subscribe on our show. Thank you for listening to our show, Doodlespray. Goodbye. Everyone tell them bye.